Hey guys, welcome back. So previously we talked about a big change comes to the build. Well, today is a day. We have a big day of demo, right? Yes. So if you look right back through here, you see that entire gray area, that, that's the so-called roof. It's uh, <laughs> getting torn out today. Yes. Um, so what are the details on that? Okay, so a new dormer is coming, the third dormer. This is gonna be the main entrance to the house and it's also going to be where the stairs leading up to the loft are. This is going to allow for Ellie to have her own little play area mm -hmm. space inside where we previously had planned for the stairs to go. So um, it's a good change, a necessary change, yes. and we need to either do it now or next spring. So and then we'll have drywall up, the wood on the inside. Just it'll be. We need to good rip, now. rip the bandaid off and just get it done. Um, and we been debating when the right time to do this was and in hindsight we wish we had done it back when we did the other two dormers before mm -hmm. we put the roof on but at that point we were in the mindset that we weren't sure whether or not we were going to make it through winter in the RV um, and thinking that we might need to move in here when it was you know bare bones just had like a wood stove and you know it was pretty much like closed in and whatnot. But we pulled through winter without a problem yes. so let's get this thing banged out now so I guess the first order of operation is go inside, pull the insulation out. Yep. Brace that entire thing up, remove the roof, and then uh, start cutting. Yeah, it's, it's a big project. Uh, we wanted to wait until this weekend to tackle it, not during the week, because the plan is to get this thing ripped out, framed up, and closed back in as quickly as possible. We don't want this to drag out. No, so hopefully two or three days we closed up and uh, no issues. Yeah, so time to get to work. Alrighty, let's go. Look at this mask. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Step one is done. All the insulation and baffles are out. That's the easy part, right? Yeah. Getting everything down. Wasn't bad. Um, I'm a little itchy, but whatever. It's what it is. <laughs> so, next thing we gotta do is we gotta got to put a board across, screw it in, get some bracing, brace the entire thing up. We can do that step or pull the roof off first. It doesn't really matter. We're already in here, so let's get that started. Okay. Pull the roofing off, and then uh, I'm gonna get a circle saw and a 10-pound hammer that I got. <laughs> I got one He's now. He's prepared this time, guys. I got a 10 pound hammer and we'll start bashing the uh, OSB off the roof. So all, all the roof sheathing, get that off. Yeah. Once all that stuff's off, and uh, we start cutting and uh, tearing it apart. Yeah. The good thing is, is a lot of the time, uh, a lot of those sheets of uh, OSB have been reusable for us. You guys have actually seen us use them on uh, animal shelters that we yeah. built. The most recent one that, that we built, we used it for. So. And they're cheap too. I mean, Let's be realistic. I got two, four, six, eight. They're eight dollars each. Yeah. So Plus, any, anything that comes off big enough, we can reuse. Like, the rest is talking sixty-four dollars for it. It's, it's, it sucks. I get it, but it's what it is. It's a necessary change. Changes happen. Change orders come all the time when you're building stuff. If you're always redoing something and uh, to make something better. So I think that's what we're doing. I think for us, one of the things that's been tough is we're not living in like a regular house and seeing this build happen from afar we've kind of had to like play the whole build by ear and not knowing what winter was gonna be like mm -hmm. here we we didn't know what our circumstances were gonna be um how cold it was gonna end up getting in there so we needed to have this as a possibility to move into if and we want to write that we want to write to we don't want to look back 20 years from now though and say i wish i would have done that, yes. that was, that's exactly what's going to happen if we move in here next year like Oh, we should have done that. Well, yeah. let's nip in the butt and uh, get it done. Yes. All right. So, bracing. Let's get this out and bracing goes on next. Okay. 
Take it, boss. <laughs> Got him? Let's go, Dad. You got this? supported and now we're ready to head outside and get the metal roofing taken off yes yeah, so we got a bunch of screws to take out uh, i got a 28 foot extension ladder to go up that roof and go up to the ridge and start unscrewing everything and pulling it all down yep back to the ridge you go he has to do his ridge cap dance you no know see that. i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna get on and straddle the ridge i'm gonna go up there and take the screws out of the ridge oh that's why you're so sad today correct but i got some for you straddle tonight though <laughs> josh seems to have forgotten that this is a family channel you knew Josh that. wouldn't let you down with the weekly uh, joke. The weekly joke? Yeah, the weekly joke. <laughs> it was a small one, but a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs>
right guys, so that's it. We're gonna cut a massive hole over that way. It's all braised up on the inside. It's starting to get late, so we're gonna call it a night. But tomorrow morning, first thing, we're gonna bring the circular saw out, start cutting up, and then we're gonna throw some slop on the, on the wall inside there, and have Aaron charge through it and see what happens. What, what? I knew. <laughs> I knew something was coming. I knew it. So hopefully you'll bust through it without a problem. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or maybe I could just spread some little icing on that. You know what I mean? You could sounds just eat your so way good. through the wall. That sounds good. <laughs> okay. Speaking of uh, eating, it's time for dinner. Let's go eat. <laughs> So we did it. We cut a massive hole in the side of the house. Yeah, this was uh, definitely the biggest mistake that we have made during the build, not having done this back when we did the other two, because we obviously made work for ourselves. Yeah, we installed stuff to rip out and then do something again, so. Yeah, we did, we were doing the best we could at the time with the situation that we were in being in the camper and being uncertain. So yep. it is what it is. I'm glad that we just have gone ahead and gotten it started mm -hmm. <laughs> so that we can have it done because it was definitely, I mean, it's a mess. Can you imagine living in there and doing this? No, I mean, it's, it's not really feasible doing it like that. You could do it, but you gotta quarantine everything off, do right. plastics, then you worth the headache. Do it now or in the camper, get it done before we do any more extra work. Because yeah. imagine we had drywall and, and wood on the, on the know, walls and the dust going everywhere. I'd be I'd tear it all out. I mean, it's, it'd be awful. Yeah, we did it now, so it's, it's what it is and it's fine. Yeah, so so we we got it started. We've made good progress yep. so far. And what's next? Um, I guess uh, sucking those two by twelves spread apart and make a beam going across to hold the roof up. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, all the bracing that's shoring up the, the, the roof right now. We'll pull that out after that beam's installed. Yeah, and then uh, we got to figure out a design on how, what we're gonna do. Right, with the roof design, we're still kind of debating which way, if we should switch it up with the roof design or not. So there's uh, still some planning that's going to go on there. But all of those all those two by 12s that you saw us cut down, those all get reused just as they did on yep. the other two dormers that we built. Yep, so, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. We, uh, we've got some hay to go do. Yes, we do. So that is what we're up to next, guys. Thanks so much for watching. All right, guys, we'll see ya, thank you. See ya. We're cutting a massive hole. Yeah. Go, explain. Well, Josh loves Chuck very much and he feels that Chuck needs a master bedroom of his own. So now we're going to be building Chuck. What? <laughs> okay. Oh no? Oh. You're not going to profess your undying love for Chuck? The dog? Yes. No. You guys should see them. They take baths together at night and then they cuddle in bed. I only have a bathtub. <laughs>